All right, once your head and torso is ready for newspaper, what you will need are a bunch of newspaper strips and tape ripped up into small pieces, a whole line of it in front of you. I'll start with my torso first. And what I'm going to do is, is layer a few strips together and fold them in half. You don't have to make paper strips like you did for your arms and legs to do the head or torso. If you would like to, you could, but uh, I'm not going to. So with this line of three pieces, I'm now going to wrap it around the torso going up over top and underneath arms and legs around the head as tightly as I possibly can. And that's the key. This has to be wrapped as tight as you can get it without ripping the paper. And sometimes you rip the paper and that's okay. Just take tape and tape it down. And now that I have it all wrapped around, I'm going to tape it down. All of my loose ends need to be taped. Nothing, no flyaways. And on the back, I will tape this as well. I'm not going to be done right now with this torso. This is just the beginning. This is the core, the center of my torso. Okay. One more here. All right. Now, as you can see, it is lopsided. Now you can start filling in the gaps. Let me rip some more tape because I just used a lot of tape to do that. If I had a round body in my sketch, you can crumple newspaper together and you can place place it on the front, tape it down, and then you'll do the same thing for the back, making sure everything is firmly taped down and solid and not poofy. No poofy newspaper, please. This is the same process that you're going to do for the head as well. But start with the torso or, or the head first. Don't, don't work both of them at the same time because it's too much. Let me move the tail out of the way. Now, if I look at this from the side view, you can see it's got bulk on the front but it has nothing on the back. Now I'll have to do the same process for the back. Once that's done, I'll then take another look at it and decide whether I need more bulk and look at your sketch and compare your sketch to it. I also need to, if you can see underneath the torso, you can see some of the wire still. You're going to need to give yourself a little bit of a tape diaper and cover it up. I don't want any tape, or sorry, wire showing because wire is made out of metal and the metal will not stick to the plaster. The plaster will crack and peel off of it. All right, so once this back is done, I'll reevaluate the size and the shape of my torso and if I need any more uh, newspaper anywhere. And then I can move on to uh, the head, doing the same exact thing I just did. Let's talk about fingers for a moment. Do not wrap your fingers with paper. I wrap my fingers with tape only. And to do that, you'll need a piece of tape about that big. Put the tape on an angle on the finger, like that. Wrap one side over and twist the tape around. Keep twisting until it's all twisted together. Now that is one long finger, and you can feel where the, where the wire ends, and you can actually clip the tape to where the wire ends. And if the tape won't stay down, you need to tack it. Just so this little loop here is not staying. So I'll just use another little piece and tightly wrap it. And this is how I make fingers. So I'll do this with all three of my fingers. And then to make a thumb, I just make my thumbs out of tape. Take a piece of tape, put it against the wrist area of the hand, and I twist it upon itself to make a shortened finger. So that would be my thumb.
So once these are all wrapped with tape, I can then turn them and move my fingers any any which way I would like. And you can see how the hand would be created that way. If you have any questions for me about wings or tails or fins or anything, just come on up. The doctor is in. I'll be at the round table. Have fun.